Hello again, everyone. I'm your head golf professional, Tim Harris. Uh, I want to take a few moments to thank you, first of all, for uh, a lot of the positive feedback I got from our last video. Um, it's not that difficult. Uh, doing the little things out there make a big difference, and that's what I wanted to get across to everybody. And uh, today, I just wanted to talk to you about a few things that are coming up in the immediate future. Um, a shorter video than the last one, just a couple of reminders, really. Um, number one, you can see I'm standing kind of on the driving range. I'm in the teaching area where a lot of you see me out here giving lessons, myself and Mary and Blake. And um, Spring break is coming up. So I really wanted to kind of emphasize the fact that I know a lot of you are going to have guests coming down into town, whether it's your children, maybe your grandchildren. Um, just to let you know that when you are using the facilities and when your guests are using the facilities to please um, adhere to the proper dress code when you're out there. Um, a lot of times I'll have to come up and tell people to tuck their shirts in. Uh, sometimes I'll see people with no collar on their shirts. But just to be clear, um, it doesn't matter if you're on the golf course or not. Even if you're using the putting green, the driving range, the chipping areas, you must uh, adhere to the dress code. Men, that means shirts with a collar. Tuck those shirts in. It's not that difficult to tuck your shirt in. Uh, ladies, you have to have a collar if you uh, don't have sleeves. If you do have sleeves, you don't need a collar. And, you know, no cargo shorts, no cargo pants. Uh, we want everyone to look good while they're out there practicing and playing for that matter. So please tell your guests before they come down to make sure that they are dressed properly when they are on the driving range. Another thing that's coming up uh, pretty soon is uh, daylight savings. So uh, I think it's coming up this weekend, actually. Um, that means it's going to be darker a little bit earlier in the morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to push back the uh, first tee time of the day, which usually starts at 7.30 to 7.38. Give us another eight minutes to get people out, and we'll add a tee time to the back end of the first crossover. Um, so we'll do that throughout the rest of the month of March. As it starts getting lighter um, in the morning, we may go back to 7.30 sometime in April. Um, but it also means at the end of the day, um, our last tee time is right around 5 o'clock. So carts that are taken from the um, facility here have to be returned by seven o'clock okay um, the guys that work the bag drop need the carts in by that hour so that they can clean them and disinfect them put them away that takes a good hour hour and a half sometimes so if we get all the carts in by seven o'clock then we can get our guys out of here by 8 30 at night which i don't think is uh asking too much so just a reminder i know it's going to stay lighter later in the day and there'll be more time to get golf in but if you have one of our golf carts just please return them to the bag drop uh, by seven o'clock. I appreciate that. Um, we're going to take a little uh, walk over to the uh, pro shop here. We're going to see what's going on with Tracy and some of our uh, outdoor pro shop things going on. Okay, so we're out here in front of the golf shop. Um, you see behind me, I mentioned in my last video that Tracy, our merchandiser, has been doing a great job um, getting some new things out there. We're actually doing some outdoor golf shops um, on select dates throughout the month of March. Um, so. If you can come by and you see Tracy outside, it's not a sale, so to speak. It's more of a preview just to show you and showcase some of the things that we have. Shoes, apparel, um, demo clubs, accessories, all kinds of things we have in the golf shop. Um, read your Sports Wave because that's where a lot of the information is. The Sports Wave comes out every Thursday. If you're a Facebook user, look for the uh, Facebook page, Pelican Town Pro Shop, Golf Shop, I should say. Hit the like button and you'll get a lot of information there as well. Um, now, I did mention it's not that difficult. We're still going to honor that phrase. If you say it's not that difficult, we could give you a small discount. Like I said, it's not a sale, but if you do mention it's not that difficult, maybe we'll give you a little bit of a discount if you come out to one of our outdoor golf shops. It's not for regular inside shopping, just for the outdoor golf shop. So you'll see those dates in the wave. Like I said, read the sports wave. That's where you get a lot of information, not only for this, but for everything else that pertains to the golf, stuff, uh, golf shop. Thanks again, everyone. Looking forward to the stretch run here. One other thing I wanted to mention, um, some of you have uh, asked me about some of the things that may be returning to the golf course, uh, things like the ball washers, uh, the scoops on the par threes, um, the towels. Just be a little patient. Some of those things will be coming back soon. We're waiting for results from our survey. We're evaluating things. Things are hopefully getting safer. More of you are getting vaccinated, which is great. Um, once everybody gets vaccinated, including some uh, of us on staff, um, we'll feel a little bit more comfortable with putting some of those things out there. So it's coming soon. The light is at the end of the tunnel. And I hope everybody is staying safe in the meantime. And just be a little bit patient. We'll let you know when we can get those things back out there. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your uh, March, month of March. And looking forward to seeing you out there on the golf course. Take care.